Hello, my friend, my beautiful, rich in spirit, soon to be rich in assets, friend. Listen, I want to thank you so much. If you've been a part of this growth on my channel, 7,000 subscribers, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, let's go for a walk. I want to talk to you about something. Let's you and I go for a walk. Come on. Okay, so listen, I hope you're having a tremendous Saturday. Look at the weather here in California. I mean, it's, it's gorgeous today. Um, let me start by saying, and you know this, kind of mando, I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice at all. This is just me talking to you about AMC stock in particular today, uh, where I see it going, and what's been happening. Lots of stuff has been happening. You know, I want you to know something. We won this war. We won it. It's already done. We just have to catch up to it in that point in time. You got to understand who we're dealing with here. You know, we're, we're fighting a very, very formidable opponent. But you knew that, right? I don't know if you really know exactly how much of a formidable opponent we have here. We're dealing with people that really control I want to say the world, but maybe it is the world, but they control every ting man. They control it all. So this is not like we're fighting, like, you know, this is not like some neighbor, neighbor feud, you know, with your neighbor uh, or, or family feud or anything like that. This is much bigger than that. This is huge. We're fighting people that, you know, we're talking about a transfer of wealth, one of which this world has never seen before and it's big it's big so i want to talk about a couple couple individuals in general because i've hold the, I, hold, I hold these guys in very high regard uh really i mean they've brought some invaluable information to the community and we need to talk about it and then later on in the video here i'm gonna i'm gonna talk to you about where i think we're going with this because we're going huge. We're going massive. I don't care what anybody says. The numbers are there. But remember what I said. We're dealing with a very formidable opponent. The hedge funds. Money that you don't even, you couldn't even comprehend. And we're winning. We're winning. Now, no matter how you feel about Al from Boston, who knows what happened? I think it might have been a hit piece, but that's just what I think. But here's the deal. Al from Boston came out with some very D to the D, like real solid information. He shed light on the story that we really had no idea was going on. Now he did mention this. Now again, what happened, if it did happen, I don't condone that. I think it's kind of weird. You know, does Al have a little freaky diggy do? Does he got a little freaky side to him? Who knows? Maybe after a couple cocktails, who knows? People have dark sides, whatever. Don't know, don't care. But what I do know is he brought some very valuable information to our, to our cause here. And that is, gotta understand something. The opponent we're up against right now has a, a war room. Okay, and I'm gonna tell you why I know this for sure. They have a war room of people that are working for them, that are scouring the internet. They're scouring the social media. They're scouring my page, my, my comment sections. They're scouring all the YouTubers' comment sections. And the reason I know that is because I've done a lot of, first of all, let me say this. I've, I've, I've mentioned this before to you, I've said this before. I've had an internet marketing company for years. YouTube channels out the butt. I mean, I've got a social media company that just collapsed really with COVID. I went from hero to zero in no time with that crap. But I'm no stranger to internet marketing, social media, YouTube, and such like that. Now, realize this. 
YouTubers, Twitter accounts, Instagram accounts, you can buy followers in a heartbeat. For a thousand followers, it costs like 50 bucks. Google that stuff. Go ahead and Google Instagram followers, YouTube followers. It's easy to get followers. It's also very easy to create accounts. This is what I think they're doing. This is what I know they're doing. The hedge funds, and I know this because I'm, I've investigated certain uh, commenters on my comments and other YouTube channels comments. I've seen that they're, 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 they're new accounts. The way you can find out if these comments are like in bold and they're really pushing hard on a specific narrative, like we're going to fail, we're going to fail, you're doomed check out go to their click on their profile which a lot of times they won't have a picture click on their profile go to their about page of their profile on youtube and see when those accounts were started you're going to find that a lot of them are within a few months old proof positive that they are new accounts they're most likely hedge funds just creating a, a havoc they're trying to create a havoc that's what they're doing I'm telling you so that's one thing. So Al brought that to our attention in that they've got a war room. They are not playing games. We're up, you know, we're about to take their money, man. And we're winning. So they're going to do everything. I think they're, they're doing hits on Al. I think that was a hit job. I really do. Now, I don't know for sure. I'm not discounting the, the, the actual allegations or anything like that. It's not what I'm here to do. What I'm here to do is tell you that he brought some valuable information to the picture. The other guy, my boy Lou. I say my boy Lou because I can definitely see Lou and I sitting down for a cheesesteak or a slice of Sicilian and a beer somewhere in New York City. I would love that. Seems like a great guy. I love Lou because number one, if his story is in fact correct, he's, he's an underdog coming back up. I'm no stranger to that. Let me tell you something. I'm no stranger to being an underdog. My life has been full of roller coasters, ups and downs, a lot of good times, a lot of bad times but ups and downs and I, every time I bounce back because I crawl myself, I crawl up that ladder. I, I, you know what I mean? I get mine. And that's what I'm in the process of doing right now after this COVID thing. Because like I said, I had social media clients in Los Angeles here where I had some high-end clients, like celebrity, like big. COVID hit, it all disappeared. It all disappeared. It is what it is. So I'm crawling back up the ladder. So I get that. now. I can't do without my daily fix of Lou. You know what I mean? I really can't. I find him very entertaining. You know, I love it. It's hilarious. But again, he's brought some extremely valuable information to the picture that we otherwise would not be privy to. Now, where he's getting that information is a whole nother, I don't know. The only thing that I would suggest from, from Louie is, is, is check it out. He mentioned that there was a bank that offered him an obscene amount of money, more money than he can ever make with this play, and he's got a witness to this. I would like to know who that bank was. That's it. You tell me that and lose Lou for mayor, Lou for president, you know what I mean? But aside from that, I don't think it really matters. Well, it does matter because that's fucking, that's crazy. Um, but, you know, these guys bring invaluable information to the table. and. As a result of that, we're in a whole different position today. So where do I think AMC is going? And, and here's another thing I want to mention to you, Adam Aaron. Let's talk about him for a second. I don't know who's he, whose side he's really on because he's had opportunities to do these share counts and let us know exactly what the share counts are. You know, like, wh what's up? Like, like, let us know that's happening. You have the ability to do that. You can demand an investigation. Now, there's another YouTuber, I forgot his name. He's, he's new for me because I just started watching him, but he's starting a, uh, what the hell's the name of the guy? Anyway, he wants to do a, uh, a live thing on the internet where somebody orchestrates all this and we talk to Adam Aaron and we demand this. We are the shareholders, really, we own the company. We have that right. I think that's a killer thing, something to do, something for real, for real to do. Um, because, you know, like I said, we have the right to know. We have the right to know. So let me know what you think in the comment section below. Let me know what's going on in your mind. Here's what I think is happening this week. The DOJ is going to make a decision regarding this transparency issue 
and I think it's going to be in our favor. There's too much heat. You know, guys like Al, guys like Lou, guys, there's too much, there's too many eyes on this thing. And it needs to be done. It needs to be done because guess what? The world is looking at this and if there's no transparency in the market, who the hell is going to want to invest in the market? Who's going to want to put money into a 401k that's tied to the market? Who's going to, who's going to want to? I know I'm not going to. Crypto is going to start looking real attractive. It's going to look attractive anyway, but you get the idea. I'm just saying, man. I mean, the hedge funds, they want us to be interfighting. They want us to fight amongst each other. This is their whole game plan. They're doing it in the comments section. They're leaving comments, all sorts of whacked comments. Let me ask you a question. You go to a YouTube video because you're interested in AMC and you watch the video. The guy seems real nice and sincere, whatever. You like him, you don't like him, whatever. Disagree, agree, it's all good. That's why we have opinions. Everybody's entitled to that. But why would you leave a comment like you all got, you guys are gonna be horrible. This is never gonna work out. You're doomed. That's either, what is that? When I see that on my channel, I block them. Because when I do investigations and I look at who that person is and when they created that channel to be able to comment on a video, they're usually within a few months ago. Those are hedge funds. Those are, those are they're obviously the enemy. So be very careful with what you see on the comment section below. Never ever contact a WhatsApp number. I would never leave you my, my WhatsApp number down there. Why, for what? Um, and that's really it. I mean, I want you to know that this week, it's gonna be a big week. I think we're gonna start seeing big numbers by the end of this year, uh, the end of this uh, uh, January, because we got a lot of things popping off. Look, they don't want four million apes showing up in Washington because Look, don't think it won't get to that. This needs to be taken care of. We need to get paid and we're going to get paid. So know that. Okay, so I had to edit this in because I forgot the name. His name is The Common Sense Investor. Go check him out. He's new to me. I've just started watching him. But when I talk about that Adam Aaron thing and doing the share recount, figure it all out. <laughs> Excuse me. He mentions it today in one of his videos. Show him some love. He a little bit country. I think you'll like him. Good dude. Solid from the heart. You can tell, you know. Uh, but check him out. Show him some love. The Common Sense Investor. He talks about that, about doing a live thing with all the apes. Anybody who wants to get involved in that call and have somebody speak to Adam Aaron about this and get this share count done because he can start an investigation. Okay. Also, I need you to know something. I want you to know how much I do, in fact, love you. Because if you're in this play, you're, you're just like me. You're, you're getting your information from the same sources primarily. And I share what I share with you, whether you agree with it or disagree with it. Again, if you're not a subscriber, consider subscribing to the channel. We're going to be talking about all sorts of good stuff. We're going to be doing AMC talk. We're going to be doing cryptocurrency talk, real estate talk. You're going to want to be in the know. And we've grown, this channel has grown, what, since just a month and a half ago when I really started pumping out videos, I've put up 3,000 new subscribers. Thank you. Now, if you're not a subscriber yet, right at the bottom here on the right-hand side, there's my picture, bottom of your screen, click it. Click it and subscribe with notifications. I'll wait. Hit that button. Okay. So. I want you to know something. When we talk about numbers like 50,000 a share, $100,000 a share, the kind of numbers Al was talking about, these are mathematically possible. Now, even if it's for a few minutes during the squeeze, those numbers can spike to that level. There's not many people that can say that's not the case because we know that's to, that, that's to be the case. Whatever your number is, is your number. If you're a diamond hand ape, you're gonna hold. You're gonna hold through the, the halts, the, the delays. You know, let me say so something else about, about Al from Boston that just came to my mind. You know, you gotta think about something. And the reason why this is probably a hit piece, because, and again, 
I don't know. I don't care really, to be honest with you. It's none of my business. But, you know, this guy, Al, did interviews with Mayor, or, you know, Rudy Giuliani. He did a, an interview with the CEO of Overstock. Who gets to do that? It's not like, I mean, come on, think about it. That's some cred. That's some street cred right there. And the fact that he was disclosing all this information and uncovering all this with his buddy, I think Kyle or whatever, the fact that it just smells like a hit piece. Again, don't know, don't care. None of my business. I hope it all works out for him anyway. Um, he gets what's coming to him, good or bad, whatever, right? But uh, that's that's what I think about that. But fifty thousand dollars a share, man. That's a realistic goal. Will it sit on fifty grand and give you the opportunity to hit sell for any length of time? I don't know. But I think we're going to see those numbers at some point, especially if you halt. You know, if you've got a, a zillion shares and don't ask me how many shares I got, it's really none of your business. Really, I'm not asking you. You know, if you want to drop it down in the comments, cool, but that's on you. My finances are my finances, not your finances. I'm not saying that you're asking, but you know. But uh, if you've got thousands of shares, a $500 AMC price might be your number. You get in, you get out, you're good. You made your money. And there's other plays in the future. If you've got a hundred shares or less, you might got nothing to lose. You might want to say, roll it, baby. You know, and you, you get yours. And you might be that lucky one. You may get stuck holding the bag. You could get stuck holding the bag, but you're still holding the bag of a great company. And you've been involved in one of the most incredible stock plays ever. But I think if we hold collectively, hold, not financial advice, but I'm holding. I'm holding till I see those numbers. Now, I may liquidate a few to get some cabbage, to get some of that cash back, that scuttle. But uh, yeah, I'm not a big whale, baby. I'm not a big whale. I'm one of those guys that, that sit there and, you know, I want to see 50 grand a share. Then I'm a millionaire. That's what I came for. Tell me what you think in the comments below. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you're having a tremendous Saturday. And uh, let me know what you think. Smash that like button. Talk to you soon. Have a great day. God bless. You held me back when I tried to move on from your life. So you stole my life with clarity. So hold me back. Now you're here. Cause I'm mad. Show no fear.